Factionistas, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween, which is a new tutorial every single day, and today is a gargoyle. And while we're at it, I want to let you guys know that the Faction Lash, and if you guys are new here, the Faction Lash is my lash, is now officially on sale. And if you use the coupon code Faction Halloween, you can save 30% on the Faction Lash. And if you use coupon code Faction, you can save 20% on all of the lashes at newbonsim.com and the link will be down in the description box But anyway, let's get started with the tutorial So I'm starting off with Mayron's paradise paint in gray and these are water activated paints They are not the same as the Halloween store grease paints But you guys can use them if you would like but set it with powder or it's gonna slip around So now I'm gonna use a grease paint which you can use one from a Halloween store I'm using a white grease paint on my cheekbones to highlight my cheekbone so we're officially going to highlight like all those glam girls in the world but a little bit demonic and i'm also going to place that in my nose but a cool little trick is we're going to do something a little bit different so i'm going to now scrunch my face and i'm going to apply that same face paint on top of where we just applied that highlight so when i relax my face it's going to show cracks and divots and it's going to look like aged and very textured and that's going to be our guideline for the rest of the makeup Leaving that alone for now, though, where you're going to go onto the forehead, and I am going to start creating these forehead crease divot lines so it looks like I'm giving expression all the time when really I'm not. So I'm using this liner brush from Tarte with a black eyeshadow or a black eyeliner or anything that you have, and I am going to sketch out these lines on my forehead. They don't have to be that dark, and the, the least amount of dark, it's better, so it's going to blend more cohesively in with the forehead, and it's going to look more realistic. So now I'm taking that same cream paint that we used on the upper cheekbones and the nose, and I'm applying that in the center on the only one side of that black line. So what you're seeing is my right side of my forehead. I'm only applying the highlight to the right side of that line. Does that make sense? So you see a line, apply it on the right side, on the right side of the forehead, and apply it on the left side of the left side of the forehead. Does that make sense? That's going to give the illusion that it's coming outwards, and it's a natural crease or divot in the skin, and it's going to look, you know, more cohesive with the rest of the makeup but now i'm just creating more lines as i go on through the eyebrow and you guys can do this however you like so now i'm using the sigma effects 3 brush and if you guys are a special effects makeup artist want to be a special effects makeup artist or are looking to expand your kit this brush is a must it comes in the special effects kit section with first sigma and i use that one brush the entire tutorial so i'm going back in now with a liner brush and i'm going to accentuate these white lines and the same way we did in the forehead boom boom it's easier when you have the white the highlights already existing so on the nose and the uh, crow's feet area like that is gonna be an easier side because all you have to do is just shade those already highlighted areas do you feel me do ya it looks very blue but my face looks very blue toned but that's because the uh, auto white balance on my camera has been acting a fool lately but it's, it's definitely a little bit more of a neutral gray tone in real life. But now I'm highlighting the crow's feet area the same way that we did with the nose and the forehead. And that's essentially the technique I use on the entire face aside from the cheekbones. So I'm going to highlight now my smile lines. And I'm going to bring that right into my nose to give that very furrowed, very uh, animalistic expression. And then once we have that highlight, we are going to then go in and contour it with shadows. But I'm using the same white cream from this Mayron palette. And now I'm going in that same Mayron palette and I'm using this dark gray and that's going to be our mid-tone. So we're applying highlight, then we're going to apply mid-tone, and then we're going to apply shadow. Does that make sense? So highlight, mid-tone, shadow, but then in this tutorial I use two different shadows. I use a dark gray and a black and that's really going to give you the most three dimensions. But I'm taking that same gray that we just used on the nose and I'm darkening up those shadow marks in the forehead lines that we had created earlier. And the more colors that you have, the more uh, spectrum of depth. Whether, so if you have a black, a gray, a mid-tone gray, a darker gray, and then like a white, like, do, does that make sense? I feel like I said that weird. If you have like highlights and mid-tones and uh, all the different tones and textures and colors you can put in, that's going to make it more look realistic because it's going to be a lot of dimension. 
Anyway, I'm highlighting the nose on the nostrils and two points in the center of the nose, and then I'm going to contour that with the mid-tone shade, which is that gray shade from earlier, and I'm going to shade those areas to make those highlights pop. You feel me? Cuckoo. Going back into that same Mayron grease paint palette, I'm going to take those highlight shades again, and I'm going to start doing the cheekbone. So I want you guys to focus on traditional highlight and contour that you see in beauty videos. That's exactly what we're doing here, but we're doing it in straight, jagged lines. So I'm taking that same Special Effects 3 brush, and I'm applying a straight, jagged lines in all those areas that I would traditionally contour in beauty. Then taking the mid-tone shadow, which is this darker gray, and I'm going to uh, break up that white highlight, and I'm going to start adding transition in down to the lower cheekbone where it's going to be black. So it's going to be black and it's going to fade up to white. So now I'm adding the mid-tone to one break up the highlight as well as transition into the darker shades. So now I'm taking the black from this palette, which I know comes up as a gray. I know that, so I'm using it on purpose because it's not that pigmented. So I'm using that darker gray now, or we're going to call it a darker gray even though it looks like black in the dish. I'm taking that darker gray and I'm further extending out, breaking up those highlights as well as further transitioning into the darkest shade to really give you that cheekbone without sacrificing any texture. We don't have any soft lines in this whole makeup. Now I'm taking the Black Primal color by NYX, which is a very pigmented face shadow, and they come in a wide spectrum of colors, and I'm taking that black one to get the darkest shade possible. And then I do have a umbrella lamp on my left hand side, which is blowing out all of the color, and so I'm going to turn that off so you guys can see that what it really looks like, because it's a little bit too much. So there we go. See? There. Better? Better. So now we're going to do, with the mid-tone gray again, we're going to carry that all the way up to the eye. So we're going to add wrinkles underneath the eye, enhance those crow's feet, and really tie the entire face together. So this entire makeup is a lot of repetition. It's essentially the texture marks that we left on the forehead, nose, crow's feet, and the straight line texture marks that we are going to create on the cheekbones and all vice versa. So you want to just use that and just explode it all over your face. But now I'm taking darker shades. I'm taking that mid-tone gray and that darker gray, and I'm applying that in my inner brow bone to add depth as well as in my eyebrow to bring that eyebrow back to life because we covered it with gray face paint. You feel me? This is all about texture. Almost, I like love my texture. You guys know me. So now I'm going to create just a couple more around the outer brow to really uh, contour the forehead. You know what I'm saying? So same thing you guys already seen. So adding in the black shadow, adding in those highlights, and then we're going to buff out those highlights so nothing's too stark. So I'm using my finger just to kind of press that in and then a little bit of the uh, of the foundation or the face paint color. Boom, boom. So I added these white contacts, which I'll have linked down below. They're from Camo Eyes. And now from there, I am contouring the jawbone with a black, and then I go in with a little bit of highlight to break it up. Now I'm using this NYX Jumbo Pencil in dark brown, and I really liked choosing dark brown because since it's all monochrome on our face, having a little bit of warmth in that eye area, I find really adds a lot of interest and depth to the overall look, which I like. And now I look super blue because my white balance is stupid. But anyway, I'm blending out that liner now with that same Special Effects 3 brush by Sigma. And I'm doing that in the same bottom lash line. I'm adding a little bit of brown from the cream palette just to add a little bit of warmth. And then I go in with a little bit of black eyeshadow later on to really add some nice depth. But this is a technique you've seen on my channel before. I'm adding white highlights to my lips. And then I'm going to do a kissy face and apply a dark gray on top of that. So when I open my mouth, you, get, you guys see all that texture. Look at that. Boom. Love it. Now here I'm adding a little bit of black to add some depth, you know, you know. And now I'm applying Spirit Gum to the horns. These are the same horns that I used in my Demon tutorial, and it's made by Model Magic, which is Play-Doh that you guys can buy at Target, Walmart, craft stores, anywhere. You mold it in whatever shape you want, and it dries as a foam, and it's light enough to glue to the face. So I'm applying Spirit Gum, which I'll have that link down below too. I'm applying Spirit Gum, and I'm going to apply that to my forehead where I want it, and then I'm going to take it off, let it dry, and then place it right back on. So it's a double adhesive, two sides. And then final step, I'm just adding a little bit of highlight and shading like we did on the entire face onto the horns to really tie it all together. And that's the finished tutorial, my friends. I really hope you guys liked it. If you guys recreate it, tag me on social media, follow me on social media, and subscribe here to keep up to date with more videos. We're going all the way to October 31st. And also, don't forget that the Faction Lash is 30% off with coupon code Faction Halloween, as well as using the Faction coupon code on all of Nubunsum's mink lashes and silk lashes to get 20% off. So that's all the information that you guys need is down in the description box below. And now let's watch some bloopers. <laughs> I like permanent stank face, and I'm not even making stank face. I was not planning on going this detail.
very different from what you thought. Right. 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 Yeah. My hair looks so brown with my hair black. It doesn't look, or with my face gray. It doesn't look black. Can you tell? Your hair looks black. It looks brown. Like in real life, like it's got like an auburn. Like in when my face is regular colored, it looks black. But like right now, it looks like really brown. Should add black to it to make it like black black. Oh no, it's fine. It, it looks black at the camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I behind? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'm first in my head, okay? Gargoyles! Do you ever watch the show as a kid? Yes. You're the first person I know that I've talked to that's ever seen it. Before. Really? Yes. I've asked somebody to figure out how to explode that show when I was little and I watched it before school. Yeah. That's fucking bullshit. He's everything you need. I'm so thirsty. I want to drink my bioderma. You want to drink your bubble? My bioderma. Ew. It's just like mineral water. Sensible H2O. It has H2O on it. I wonder if I can drink it. Doesn't say I can't though, so. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so pink. Because yeah. I'd rather have gray. So remember, remember when I threw out my tongue? Went, <laughs> you know, models moan to make their poses look more realistic. And like they, they're like the cat, the photographer's like three two one you go three two one <sighs> <laughs> like looks more like you got a d in your butt. <laughs>